Hey guys, welcome to Entertainment Talk Nation. This is Rob. This video, we're going to do our review for Jurassic World. Yes, Jurassic World. Okay, <laughs> so we all know the storyline. The park is live. It's been so many years. And the attendance, while still doing well, has dipped a little bit because people are getting bored with dinosaurs. So they come up with this really smart plan, just brilliant plan, to make a hybrid, to draw more attraction to the park once again. And we go from there. So the first thing I got to say about this movie is that if, and this is no spoilers here, I just want you guys to know. Uh, for me personally, because I'm a huge kaiju fan, and I love monster movies. The last 25 to 30 minutes of the movie, for me personally alone, was worth the price of admission. And there's some things about this movie that are really, really epic. But there are some things about this movie that are just downright dumb. Just dumb. It just I sat there and I'm like, oh. it was a very inconsistent uh, feeling watching the movie at times. Now, the pacing of the movie is really good, okay? From the moment it starts, as it progresses through, I liked the pacing. It never really stopped. It kind of like started and then gradually got, you know, better and better in terms of some of the action and some of the sequences that happened. But in between all that, there were just some things that were just dumbfounding. Um, the characters, I, I, look, Bryce Dallas Howard and Chris Pratt were fantastic. I really did enjoy them. I didn't have a problem with their characters. I would say that um, Bryce Dallas Howard's character, I think she had the best transition from the beginning to the end. Chris Pratt was more on a level playing field. And then the two kids were just, they didn't quite do it for me. When, when I think back to the kids from the first movie compared to these, they were much more entertaining. They uh, made me care a little bit more and, and fear for them a little bit more. Where these kids were just, I, they tried to give them some sort of established story and it just didn't really work out for me and I'll get into the detail on that in, spoiler, in the spoiler discussion video. So in that aspect, the characters were, were as far as Chris Pratt and Bryce Dallas Howard, that was fine. And some of the other characters outside of that to me were just fodder. They were just there to get eaten. Some of their story was not developed as well as I thought it should have been. And they, they probably missed in some areas. Uh, in terms of the dinosaurs, I mean, they shine. This is their movie. The Indominus Rex is a sight to see. It's just incredible the amount of things this creature can do. And the other dinosaurs, but the thing of it is, the other dinosaurs in this movie, it just, there's no time for them. I don't want to say shine, but to me, I just didn't get enough. Like, I've seen Velociraptors a gazillion times. There's not one Jurassic Park movie that doesn't have Velociraptors as the highlight. Now, I get it. I understand. People love that stuff. And because the Velociraptors are so small or about the size of a human, if not slightly bigger, it makes them more appealing. It puts them in a position to be very, very scary. And I, I get that. I understand that. It just, I've seen it before. There's nothing really new there. In terms of the story, to believe it or not, a lot of people have been saying, well, you see, this doesn't make sense, this movie. It doesn't make sense for them to do this. And that's true. But at the same time, I have to kind of commend that because that, that's really what corporations do. Corporations will make asinine decisions in, if it means making a profit. So this is no different. It, it's a little bit more extreme, but I mean, we've seen corporations become pretty extreme. We've seen the government become pretty extreme. So it doesn't bother me that they still ended up developing a park after the incident of the first movie. It, it doesn't surprise me at all. It wouldn't even surprise me in real life. So I'm okay with that. The other thing I got to say that I really liked, they embraced modern day culture. Yes, you see teenagers at the park where there are dinosaurs and they're still fucking texting. And you want to know something? I believe that. I can see that happening. <laughs> I really can. And, you know, these two kids that are there, uh, you know, they're, they're supposed to be the nephews of uh, Dallas Howard's character. And... They just didn't do it for me. These kids were not, the, the teenager was a, just a punk. And the little kid was a little bit too annoying for his own good. Um, they tried to establish a small storyline where you feel for them and it just failed miserably. And the reason it failed, and this is not a huge spoiler, but you, their parents are going through a divorce. And, and I know you're like, oh my God, right. believe me, it's not a spoiler. Unless the, the kid said it, you would never know. You could assume. You could assume that they might be going through a divorce. There's one particular scene where it gives you that idea, but it's never established enough for you to give a shit about the kid that's crying. So to make matters worse, not only do you not care about the kid crying, you hate the brother for how he treats him for crying. So, and then the brother just does some dumb shit. He just does some stupid stuff. So I love the kids from the first movie much better. Uh, in terms of a lot of the nostalgia, you know, people, oh, the nostalgia, the nostalgia. 
you know, you're never going to top the first. And it's not because there are certain things about this movie that are not better than the first one, because believe it or not, there are. There are certain things about this movie I loved a lot more than the first one. But the reason the first one is going to forever live as the number one, it's the first time we saw the dinosaurs. And I think probably a bigger testament to the first movie, the dinosaurs look just as good in that movie as they do here. They really do. I, I was actually surprised that the CGI in this movie, while it was good, wasn't, didn't exceed the first movie by much. It really didn't. It was more crisp. Uh, it was a little bit more lush. But it wasn't that much better. <laughs> so, you know, and it doesn't mean I didn't have fun watching a movie. Look, it's a dinosaur movie. The highlight of these movies are the dinosaurs. And when they were on screen, they, they stole the show. You know, when Indominus Rex was doing her thing, it was incredible. The Velociraptors, as tired as I am of seeing Velociraptors, they were, they put on a spectacular performance. Blue, you're my boy, even though you're a girl. <laughs> so, I mean... Overall, the movie's not perfect, but look, if you like this sort of thing, you're going to have fun watching it. There's no doubt about that. And that's the important thing when you go to a movie. The important thing is to have fun, not care about what I say, what other people say. You have to go there and you have to have fun. And if you have fun in this, and I do think you're going to have fun watching this movie, despite all the discrepancies and the things that I didn't like, I really did enjoy the movie. Uh, the ending in particular was fantastic. That's what a lot of people are raving about. Sometimes that makes a movie. It worked for The Sixth Sense. <laughs> a lot of people remember The Sixth Sense because of the ending. But there's people who have, who have criticized that movie going from the beginning to certain points in the, in the middle of the movie going forward. But the ending is so fantastic, it makes up for all the flaws. Does this ending make up for all the flaws? No. Uh, if you've been following this movie and you're a huge fan, you probably saw the ending coming a mile away. I, I remember millions, not millions, excuse me, tons of people who speculated the events that happened. And I myself was not surprised how it turned out because I myself speculated a similar ending, not as detailed, so, but it was still fun. It was still fun to watch. So my thing is, if you enjoyed the other Jurassic Park movies, you will enjoy this one. It's much better than part three. Part three, if you notice, I didn't even bother reviewing on my March to Jurassic World. Uh, it, I think it's better than part two. It has more star power. If you watch my part two review, I told you that the lack of star power, I think, affected that movie. This one has a lot more star power. And it is a beautiful movie. The dinosaurs are fantastic. I wish we would have seen some of the other dinosaurs, but we did get to see some dinosaurs in action that we've never seen before. And the Adamus Rex alone is a sight to see. She is incredible. The Velociraptors, as I said, I, I'm kind of tired of the same Velociraptor scenario, but they put a little twist on it to make it a little bit more fresh. And uh, they, they put on a great performance. They really did. There was a lot of fun. I'm, I'm Team Raptor. Fuck T-Rex and Indominus. I, I mean, and that's the amazing part. It's because as much as I hated the fact that they repeat the whole Raptor thing pretty much, uh, they were fun to watch. They, they did do some pretty amazing things. Character-wise, Pratt and Bryce Dallas Howard, that's who you're there to see. They're the ones who put on the show. And those are the ones you're probably going to enjoy the most. Howard's character has the best transition from the point she starts to the end. So it makes her character a little bit more appealing. And there's this one scene that might bother people. And there, it's during the Pteranodon scene where they're going and they're attacking people. And this poor woman, <laughs> that's all I'm going to say. This poor woman. I mean, woo. <laughs> this is an incredible scene. Mosasaurus uh, was great. Uh, he was just that scene where they are giving the uh, display and feeding him and all that. That was great. There are a lot of great moments. But there's a lot of flaws, too. There really is a lot of flaws. Sometimes I feel like some things got lost in the shuffle. But overall, I really think you're going to have a good time with it. I did have fun with it. Can't say I'm going to go see it again. I'll probably wait for DVD. But outside of that, it w I think it was fun. I don't really grade very much. So if I had to grade it, I guess 6.5 out of 10, I would give it possibly a 7. Um, but it's not a waste of money, is what I'm saying. It's not, it, it was a fun movie at certain, at certain points. But uh, it fell short in a lot of other areas that just made it inconsistently annoying. So... Anyway, guys, that's it for this review. This is Rob signing off for ETN, where we don't do news. We just talk entertainment. Take it easy. Thank you for watching ETN. Don't forget to comment, share, and subscribe. Join the nation's Facebook page to meet other subscribers or visit ETN's Facebook page and Twitter page. Links for all are in the description. You're watching ETN. Share and subscribe. Hey guys, welcome to Entertainment Talk Nation. This is Rob. This video, we're going to do our review for Jurassic World. Yes, Jurassic World. Okay, <laughs> so we all know the storyline. The park is live. It's been so many years. 
and the attendance, while still doing well, has dipped a little bit because people are getting bored with dinosaurs. So they come up with this really smart plan, just brilliant plan, to make a hybrid, to draw more attraction to the park once again, and we go from there. So the first thing I got to say about this movie is that if, and this is no spoilers here, I just want you guys to know, uh, for me personally, because I'm a huge kaiju fan, and I love monster movies. The last 25 to 30 minutes of the movie, for me personally alone, was worth the price of admission. And there's some things about this movie that are really, really epic. But there are some things about this movie that are just downright dumb. Just dumb. It just I sat there and I'm like, oh. it was a very inconsistent uh, feeling watching the movie at times. Now, the pacing of the movie is really good, okay? From the moment it starts, as it progresses through, I liked the pacing. It never really stopped. It kind of like started and then gradually got, you know, better and better in terms of some of the action and some of the sequences that happened. 